Okay, this is Math 6, Module 6, Lesson 14. And it says, Suli explained how to make a box plot to her sister as follows. First, you find the smallest and largest values and put a mark halfway between them. And then put a mark halfway between that mark and each end. So, if 10 is the smallest value and 30 is the largest value, you would put a mark at 20. Then, another mark halfway between 20 and 10, which would be 15. And then one more mark belongs halfway between 20 and 30, which would give you 25. Now, you put a box around three middle marks and draw lines from the box to the smallest and largest values. Here is her box plot. What would you say to Sue Lee? What would you say to her? Is she correct? No, she is not correct. You need to be able to tell me how to make a box plot. And if you were to tell me like Sue Lee did, you would be wrong. Because it's not simply finding the middle of the numbers. Okay? How would you do this? We're not just talking about the uh, the values here, we have to take into consideration how many of the values they are, right? So, let's just write out the steps on how to find or how to do it. Okay? So you got the first part, right? You can pick out the smallest and the largest. You need to find the minimum and the Maximum, right? Then you got to find the median. How do you find the median? When ordered, least to greatest, the middle of the data. Now, is it always going to be a data point? No. If it is an even number, it's not going to be a data point. Right? It's going to be in between two data points. So you got to remember that. So here we have the maximum, minimum and maximum. Here we found the median. Then we would have to do what? Find the median of the upper and lower half. Right? We've split it in two now with our median. We got an upper half and a lower half. Now we got to find the median of the lower half and a median of the upper half. Well, what are those called when we find those? Q1 and Q3. Now we have our minimum, we have our maximum, we have the middle of the data, which is the median. Now we have the Q1 and the Q3. There is your five summaries. Five summary points right there. Right? Now there's one more that we can find with this information. And what is it? What's the other thing that we can find with this information? Correct. The IQR. What is the IQR? Not the sum. 
the difference. Q3 minus Q1 gives you the IQR range. That's it. Now, I think that's it for this lesson. So, let's go ahead and go back to... I want to do lesson 15 right quick. If it will load. All right. So the main thing on that last one is you can't just half everything. Okay. You got to find the middle values or the middle area and then on the median. Okay, here we go. It says, get lesson 15, given the following information, create a box plate and find the IQR. For a, <coughs> excuse me, for a large group of dogs, the shortest dog was six inches. Well, there we go. There's our minimum. The tallest dog was 32 inches. There's our maximum. One half of the dogs were taller than 18 inches. So what does that mean? If half of them are taller than 18 inches, what's that going to be? That's going to be the median. Yeah. The upper quartile, uh, nope, sorry. Let's see, where are we at? One fourth of the dogs were shorter than 15 inches. So what's that going to be? That's going to be the Q1, right? The upper quartile of the dog's heights was 23. Now, there you go. You need to understand, how much is this? What percentage of the... 50. 50%. And this is 25%, which means this is also 25%. Need to know all of that. Now we got to find the, did it want us to, yeah, it wanted us to find the IQR. Well, IQR equals Q3 minus Q1. What is Q3? 23. Q1 was 15. Was that eight? The inner quartile range covers. So the fifty, the middle fifty percent of data cover eight inches. Right? There's only eight inches difference between Q3 and Q1. Got it? All right.